Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have you in my bathroom. Say hello to the shower curtain. <laughs> um, I put on my Instagram a poll to see what kind of makeup tutorial you guys would like to see and the everyday makeup tutorial went out just a little bit over the event makeup tutorial. But if you voted for the event, don't worry, I'm doing that one next. You're still gonna get what you want. I just thought I would do the everyday one first. So this is kind of the makeup that I've been doing every single day this summer. It's really simple, really easy, and a lot of affordable products. Uh, so yeah, let's just get started. So I've already primed my face with primer. I've liked to start putting setting spray on my face before I do my makeup. Um, this is the Maven Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray. So I just give myself a little spritz of that. And then I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade 10 Fair. I know it doesn't look like it, but I've actually gotten a little more tan than usual. Um, I'm usually even more fair than this. But um, yeah, if you start getting a tan, remember um, always deepen your concealer and your foundation just so it continues to match your skin tone throughout the summer. And I have a lot of pigmentation on my cheeks. So I like to just kind of carry that a little farther over. And I've wet a little beauty sponge and I'm gonna go in and quickly dab that in. Sorry, it's been such a long time since I posted a video. I was working a full-time job that was a lot of work. So it was kind of hard for me to have energy at the end of the day or on the weekend to post a video, but now I'm between jobs, so it's now time more than ever to post videos because I have a lot more spare time. So if you guys have any video requests that you would like to see, now's a really good time to request them because there's a really good chance that I'll be able to get to the videos that you want me to post. Okay. So I don't know if you've been following along with me for a long time, but I'm not a big foundation girl. Um, I'm usually just a concealer girl because I have really dry skin. Excuse me. So I'm pretty much concealer only, but if you'd like to see a foundation tutorial, just let me know. Next, I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. This is the Wet n Wild Contour Palette. It's not really a contour palette. It's more of a bronzing. Um, I use it more as a bronzer. I think it's only like $4 at the drugstore and I think it's like the best $4 that you can spend. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the shade Dolce De Leche, the, the bronze shade. I'm gonna take on a really big fluffy brush and dip it in and I'm gonna tap the excess off. And I'm gonna start really close to my hairline and I'm gonna start in circles I'm just gonna start bringing that down my cheek. And you wanna go just below your cheekbone because you wanna kind of, you wanna accentuate it when you go below it. See how it kind of rounded out my cheekbone like that? And we'll do the same thing again. And you don't wanna go in too close to your mouth. Now, this looks a lot more chiseled than this side. I mean, I already have pretty chiseled cheeks, but um, it does make a huge difference. Remember, starting at the hairline, little circles and under the cheekbone. And now I'm gonna take it up at the top and I'm gonna do the circles again at the hairline, just to tie everything together. And then this is something I like to do. I like to take it under my neck and chin. And I like to bring that color down my neck to match the bronze on my face. Just make sure it's a little more seamless. Next, I'm gonna take my Ilia, 
It's a lip and cheek stick in the shade Ladybird. This is a clean beauty product. They've just started um, coming out with this whole line at Sephora. I'm gonna take a big, really flat brush and I'm gonna take a bunch of product because I want a really flush to look today. It's summer and I just feel like I want really pink cheeks. Been doing that a lot lately, just enjoying the the fun, more bright colors for summer. And I put that on the apples of my cheeks and I bring it back a little bit up higher than I did the bronzer, but still all the way back to the hairline. And I'm gonna take a little bit across the nose because that's where the sun would hit you and give you a little bit of sun-kissed glow and just a little bit across the forehead to make it all really seamless. Now, for a little bit of shimmer, I'm gonna add a little bit of the Milani um, Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. I'm gonna take that big brush that I use for bronzer, just so I don't apply it too thickly, and I'm gonna go right back over that blush that I just laid down. This Luminoso blush has a very nice um, gold streaks kind of baked into it that really kind of liven up whatever blush you have as like a topper. Okay, now for a new favorite, Burt's Bees has come out with these really beautiful eyeshadows. They're cream eyeshadows and you can see I've already really started working my way through this one. This one is in the shade Honey Caramel. And this is so simple, you guys. I just take my finger in the pot, get a bunch of product on, and swipe. It's very simple, and it's a really good one for, for work appropriate because it's not too shimmery, it's not too dramatic, but it definitely gives you something a little extra. And remember to always kind of blend back out at the at the edge of your where you put the eyeshadow. So in the edge of your crease, just kind of remember to fade that out so it's not a harsh line. Now my brows, I'm blessed with eyebrows that don't need a ton of care. But if you have um, brows that you like to fill in regularly, this is usually how I fill my brows. I have a little brow pencil here. Um, I like a pencil because I feel like I can just draw them on. My whole thing is that I like to only sparsely color in the edges that are kind of choppy in the corners. I like to leave my inside very fluffy and neat because I like I like natural looking brows. I don't want my brows to look harsh. I spent a lot of years with a very harsh looking eyebrows and they're just not the look I'm interested in at the moment, but they're not a bad look. They're just not the look for me. So in order to stay away from that, I usually don't color in um, farther in than here. Okay, now let's do mascara. I've been loving this mascara. It's the Bambi Eye Mascara from L'Oreal. And they have it in black and like blackest brown, like an espresso color. And I like the espresso color because I have really thick lashes already and pretty dark features. And I don't like things to be too dramatic for every day on my face. So just the hint of soft brown really helps me feel like I'm kind of toning it down while still giving volume and still adding, you know, a little something extra. I think if I had to leave the house with only one makeup product on, I think it would be mascara. I feel like it just, somehow it looks like you tried, you know, like people are like, oh, she put her makeup on. I can totally see she's wearing mascara. For me, that's the one. Okay, now last but not least is the lips. And I'm gonna start with a little Eos Balm, just in the middle. 
And then I'm gonna go in with this Nude Sticks Crayon in the shade Pulse. It's a really nice rosy tone. Okay, you guys. Well, that is it. This is what I do pretty much every day this summer. This has been a really easy, everyday, kind of flawless look. And um, yeah, my hair is a little crazy, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the event makeup one. It's gonna be really fun. And yeah, see you next time.